Hey, so I got two tips for you guys today, and both these tips relate to plugin management. So I've had some people talk to me about how they hate the plugin management in Logic, and I agree, it's probably one of the clunkiest features. I wish they would update it. Going through and having to scroll, remember that you have to remember the company that made the plugin. Up to this point, the best way to organize plugins in Logic was to drag the plugin in the plugin manager into one of your customized folders. So all your compressors are in your compressors folder and blah, 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 however you want to organize it. For, maybe for, it's a new plugin and you forgot to put it in a folder. You know, you're stuck doing this business, scrolling down to the, your audio units and then finding the, oh, what was the company name? I can't remember. Just waste so much time. And then you've got this mess with UAD, which I know you can clean up, but like this is crazy. If you don't remember what the plugin's called, I've there's been times where I couldn't remember what the plugin was called. I knew I had it in there somewhere and I just gave up and I just went with another you know, similar compressor or effect from another company just because I knew where it was. So this is going to solve that for you guys. So the program I'm using to fix this problem in Logic is called Plug Search. And it's a third-party program that runs up here. Um, it's super easy to install. Um, there's a quick setup you have to do once, and then it just works after that. I've only been using it for a couple weeks, and I already know that I can't go back to the old Logic way. I'm pretty sure other DAWs have sorted this out, but Logic hasn't done it yet. So hopefully Logic just, in the future, does this on its own, but it's called Plug Search. There's a free trial, so you can test it out. I guarantee you, if you set this up, um, you're gonna be buying this, because it's amazing. It's uh, $14, so pretty reasonably priced. And it's just one of those ease of use things. So here's how it works. Okay, so in order to use this, let's put an effect on this distorted bass. Let's say I want to distort that bass even more than it already is, which I don't, but let's do it anyways. Uh, hover over your effects insert where you want to put a plugin. Just hit control. You don't have to touch anything else. You just hit control. And a text window pops up. And uh, let's put in a uh, Devil Lock by Sound Toys. There it is. Right. I'm going to take that off. Now, another cool feature that this plugin gives you as a bonus is uh, remove plugin. So instead of having to go here and click that, which isn't that big of a deal, you just hover over it and hit control again and don't type anything in, just hit it and it just removes the plugin. Um, the other way you can add plugins, let's say we wanted to find that same plugin but we couldn't remember it was called Devil Lock but we remembered the company name. Uh, you can, if you start typing with a capital letter, it will search everything from that company. So I think it's Sound Toys. So yeah, Sound just start typing with a capital letter in the front and it will search all your categories the same way they appear in your plugin menu. Plug search, super useful. There's a very quick setup you have to do with it and I'll show you how to do that right now because it's very easy. You do it once and then it's done. Uh, you have to go back into your plugin manager. So logic, preferences, plugin manager. Uh, then what you do is you you make you have to make a category for it. This is how it's finding the plugins. So you have and you have to type it just like that. Plug search with the capitalized P and S, with no space. You have to add all the Logic plugins. I, I'm not sure exactly how why this works, but it ends up searching everything. So you go to the plugins folder and you select all. You can go command. You click over here to this side. Hit Command A. It'll grab them all. And then you just drag that into your plug search, and then you're good to go. And for actually, I messed this up. I dragged all of my plugins into the plug search category, and that messed up the plugin. I had to delete them from the category and then just drag the logic ones in, which are down here. You just drag those in. Okay, my second tip 
for a time saving that I use all the time, and this is like built into my muscle memory now, is a, a key command for opening and closing plugins really quickly. So this is probably one of the things you end up having to do the most, just this task of uh, coming over here and clicking this and then re-clicking it or opening it and then closing it, going back and forth like this and grabbing this little space. You do this thousands of times when you're working on a mix or you know, you're writing a new tune. So Logic, I think a couple versions ago, um, gave us this as a key command and they didn't really talk much about it but it's an amazing kind of uh, ease of life feature open up your key commands option k what you want to search is open slash close yeah so th this is what it comes up as open slash close instrument plugin window and you can see i have it set up so it's option command one for the instrument plugin. So if I'm on an instrument, it will open the plugin window. Then I have it set up underneath that so that option command two is going to open the uh, first uh, effect plugin. So two is actually the first audio effects plugin. That's how I have it set up. I'm sure you could reorganize this so a different key command will open um, the audio effects and you can set it back to one, but I just thought this was the easiest way to do it. And I go up to five plugins here. If you know you've got an EQ on your first channel or as your first audio effect, you can just hold option command. And I, I mash those together with my thumb I, I hold option and command together with one finger, just with my thumb, then you hit two, and it will open and close that plugin. So you could open that, you could close it off, you can open your instrument window. So the way you set this up is you click here, then you just click this area, and once this turns blue, um, you're ready to punch in your key command that will do it. So I'll redo it. Option command one, there, re, re put it in. Then you would go down here, option command two, option command three. I use this key command because it wasn't being used by anything else. And it's actually very convenient. I sort of mash the option and the command button together with my thumb and then my index fingers just reaching up and pushing the number. So it's very quick. And here's how it works in practice. Once you have that set up, um, let's go to an instrument track. Option command one, there's my window, and then I can, you know, change whatever I need to change in the instrument. Hit it again, closes the window, and that I do this all the time. I close things as I work because it keeps, like, the mess at a minimum, and it's really easy to just select the track you're, you want to work on, open it, close it. Um, let's say, you know, at the beginning of a recording session usually you only have a few plugin effects running in, in this case I know there's an EQ in the first slot so you just hit option command 2 even if you just look in the inspect you'll see oh it's right there instead of having to mouse over and click that little section there I can just go option command 2 and then close it up make my changes close it off same thing over here I see there's an effect there in the first slot I can open it I can close it um, very quick, it's, this is very quick and it saves you so much time because this is probably, these, these little buttons here, you probably are hitting those thousands of times in a session and just, you know, set that up as a key command and save yourself a whole bunch of time. I'm going to grab my coffee here. So hopefully, uh, that helps you. These are things that if I go to a computer that doesn't have this set up in logic, I'm, I'm right away going into my key commands and setting these up, like right away, because I'll do this out of muscle memory now, instinctively, and then it doesn't happen, and I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I have to set that up. You can also save your key commands too, so I email myself the key commands folder. You go here, once you've got a bunch of key commands set up, hit save as, 
I think right now I just have it set to 2021 because I've done this recently. You can locate that file, which is, um, looks like it's in here. Music, audio, music apps, key commands. So just drag that folder into your email, email it to yourself, then you'll have it on any computer. You can just really quickly drag that back into that folder and you'll have all your key commands set up. Easy.